This video is not to be confused with the best of 2016. This is just the best of December 2016. Hey vapors and babies, welcome back to my channel. Today is my monthly favorites video for December. So today is the last day of December, so it is the last day of 2016. It is time for my December favorites. Now this is just my favorites from the month of December. The next video I do will be my favorites from the entire year of 2016, so stay tuned for that video as well. So here's a look again at some things I looked at in December that I really, really love and am still loving now. So I'm gonna change it up, and first up I'm going to do my favorite devices. Now this may come as a shock to you, that's sarcasm. Is that good sarcasm? But my favorite devices, it was kind of a toss up this month between the Tugo Mini and the Chroma. So this is Kangertech and this is Inakin. I really like both of them. They're, this one is a true all-in-one. This has all-in-one style. This is adjustable, this is not, but they're both compact devices, which I really love. I prefer compact setups, and I mean, I really like them almost equally, but if I absolutely had to pick a favorite, it would probably go to the Inakin iTaste Chroma, and believe it or not, I have been using this a lot more than I have been using my Cup D, which up until I found this device was my reigning favorite. The only thing about this that I still like the Cup D over is it is a 5 mil. This is only a 2 mil, so it's not enough mils for me personally. I need more e-liquid because I go through 2 mils so quickly. But it's really lightweight, it's compact, and it is a great vape. Clouds, bitch. Now if you're looking for an even compact, smaller on-the-go mod, then maybe the Tugo Mini is for you. It does hold more e-liquid than the Chroma and Slipstream combo, but with the Chroma you can actually put on any atomizer you want with the adapter. This does hold more than the Slipstream, however it doesn't have any adjustable features. It self-adjusts, but it's just so tiny and cute and I like it. And I almost included the Inakin Pebble in here as well, but to be true to myself and what my favorites would be, it would definitely be more all-in-one compact style setups. The Pebble, you would have to put an atomizer on top, and though it is so super cute, I just love these two more than that one, a lot more, so I didn't include it, but I guess, I mean, I guess because it's a tiny mod and I like tiny mods, but like I said, all-in-ones. That's my thing, that's my jam. So those are my two favorite setups from the month of December. Now onto my favorite e-liquids. This was really hard to narrow down. I had a lot of favorite e-liquids. As I usually do, I find a lot of e-liquid that I like because I look at a lot of e-liquid. I probably do two to three e-liquid videos every week. And so I am trying a lot of e-liquid and finding better and better and yummier and tastier e-liquids all the time. So I narrowed it down to three. I couldn't just say one and I would kind of be biased if I did for when for what's coming up but um you'll see why so the first one I want to give a shout out to is the lemon curd flavor by waffle it is so yummy it's kind of gives me lemon cake vibes and lemon curd is like a like a like a jelly almost that you would put on top of a waffle and it's really good but I definitely get like lemon cake vibes from this and it's refreshing with that syrup vibe it's kind of different from my pounded by bonsai vapor which has been my reigning favorite flavor since last year has it been last year yeah i think so um but this is a nice little sugary twist to it with the syrup so i wanted to give a shout out to waffle next would have to be the kilo white series e-liquid this is a strawberries dipped in white chocolate flavor and i'd have to say this is one of the better if not best strawberries dipped in white chocolate flavor I've ever had. Like I said in the video and I say in all videos where I try chocolate flavors, chocolate vapes are so hard to get the yummy perfect milk chocolate flavor and I feel like white chocolate is even harder to pinpoint and get perfect in a vape and these guys came so 
close like the the closest I've had to a white chocolate flavor would have to be this and the strawberry is ripe and juicy and so good and I'm almost done with this bottle and I think I just opened it a few days ago and it is so freaking good it's just it's the white chocolate part that's just so realistic to a white chocolate flavor that I am in love with it so this might almost be my favorite of the month if I hadn't created my own flavors this month. So if you missed that video, I will link it below, but I did go on a vapor bar and mix together my own flavors. And I've done this before, but I went really crazy with it last time and added like five different flavor profiles to one e-liquid and they were just a mess and like only one turned out semi-okay. This time I was more serious and I went for like two or three different flavor profiles of things that I really, really liked besides Lemon pound cake, I left that flavor alone because I have my favorite and I don't want to mess with it. But all my other flavors like strawberry, butterscotch, coconut, caramel, I went with those and tried to make flavors and this, they were all good. Like, I know you're gonna be like, Tia, you made those flavors, of course you're gonna like them. But I mean, I can say with all honesty, they were great and this one, by far is the best. This is my vape queen flavor and I got to name them. That's what made it really fun more fun this time around is I got to name the flavors and you can buy them they're still on the website if you want to try the flavors that I mixed together closest thing to an e-liquid line that you'll get from me but it is a coconut cupcake flavor and it is so yummy it's like a vanilla cupcake with coconut frosting and I I'm so proud of it it's so yummy and I say like oh I'm so proud of it like I made it but I totally that's all I did was put how much coconut I wanted, how much vanilla cupcake flavor I wanted, and then the company did all the rest. But I'm still proud of it because I got to name it and it's on the website for buying and it's just, it's so yummy and I love coconut flavors. I don't, fun fact, if you don't already know this, I don't like coconut in real life. I like coconut flavor, but like coconut flakes, like pieces of coconut, barf. I hate it. Ew. And so I can live out my coconut dreams in the vape world because it's it's just vape. It's just vapor. It doesn't have that texture that I don't like of coconut. So that was going to be probably my favorite of the month, but I can't, kind of can't say that and not feel bad because like I made the flavor. But the white chocolate strawberry by Kilo White Series, so good. All these flavors are so good. And there was more that I really liked this month too, but I left them out because a favorites video, I really want to keep it, you know, three or less. Like, I think when I started doing these favorites videos, it was one. One and done. One favorite e-liquid from the month, one favorite device, one favorite atomizer, a favorite accessory, and that was it. Like, it was so short, sweet, simple, to the point. But now the vaping world has advanced so much that there's such good devices, so many good devices, and people are getting so great at making e-liquid, it's harder and harder to choose just like a favorite, so I give you variety. <laughs> I mean, that's the best part about vaping is there's so much variety, and taste is so subjective when it comes to e-liquids. What I may like, you may hate, and same with mods. The mods that I like, you may not like. I like small, compact, all-in-one setups. You may like a big-ass battery with a big ol' honk and tank on it, you know? I don't. I want it to fit in my purse or in my pocket or like in my bra sometimes, like if it's small enough. Pretty sure I can get the pebble in there, you know? But that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorites for December are or just your favorites in general. I guess it doesn't have to be for this last month. I just want to reiterate that this favorites video is only for the month of December. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the next video I put out will be my favorites best of 2016 and we'll look back at this entire year of vapes because oh my god was there a lot. Oh, I can't even, I have looked at I could say hundreds, but maybe like in my whole YouTube career, hundreds of e-liquids, but like in the last 365 days, I guess I could probably say I've looked at a hundred, at least, maybe, maybe less. I don't know. That's something I will find out. I'll go through and count how many e-liquid companies I tried this year and let you guys know. But anyways, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thumbs it up for December. It's almost over. Give it a thumbs up for 2016 because it's about to be out the door. Here comes 2017. I hope you have a fun and safe New Year's. I'm gonna have a blast. Maybe I'll vlog it. Not sure. I'm really bad at vlogging when I'm busy and having fun and drinking. 
We know this. But anyways, subscribe to this channel for more videos in the next year. Check the description box below for all these favorites that I mentioned, as well as some of my reigning favorites like the Cup D, Mods, etc., E-Liquid, all of that. You can follow me on almost any social media like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Those social media links will be below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for another year of watching.